Yo, yo, what's up, you guys? It's Apex Boom. Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a test setup of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Senders. Now, as you guys saw in my How to Cop video, if you did or didn't watch it, of course, these are going to be dropping on a whole slew of sites. But as you guys know, in my test setup videos, I just pretty much just go over. I'm going to go over what sites will be supported by that so you guys can run for every single release that you can. All right, so let's get started. Of course, as you want to know, you want to go over here to new task, get that puppy started. Of course, I'm gonna enter a name. I'm just gonna call it, huh? Just because, like, huh? What? Pick your profile. Uh, if you want to run whatever profile you want, so you can do it like that. Or if you want to run all the profiles, you just select all profiles. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Come over here. Do not forget to pick your proxy list. Whatever proxy list you want to use, I typically like to use, uh, for me personally, I love to use residentials and DC AIOs, but I go sparingly on the DC AIOs because I don't get as many DC AIOs because I have so many residential proxies already and because of the amount of gigabytes I get. I'm going to go over here to some stores. As you guys know, these will be dropping on Shopify. So for an example, let me do, I'll do uh, uh, eFlash as an example. Now, typically, there's not really early links that will work with DSM because, as you guys know, a password page goes up before it drops. So, click on here and keywords, set up your positive keywords. We're just going to say Yeezy. Oh, I got that in all caps Yeezy Boost 350 Sender. Now, you can just leave it as Yeezy, 3, uh, Yeezy Boost 350 if you want to, or you can put Sender in. But as you guys know, with Eve AIO X, you guys can put in the multiple keywords. So if one batch doesn't work, just go on to the next batch, which is a pretty dope feature. So if you want to just leave it like that, boom, you can do that. And for negative keywords, of course, you know, uh, F and F, even though this isn't easy supply, I mean, but it's still rather safe than sorry. GS, PS, TD. Um, and if you want to actually spell out toddler, preschool, Sorry, I'm typing so slow. I'm actually using one hand. Other hands on the mic. Uh, preschool and grade school. So if you also want to spell them out, that's fine too. I'm gonna go down here, and of course, want to leave this on credit card auto. Now, um, <clears throat> if you're running for a store, typically this goes for like mesh sites, things of that nature, where you have to use PayPal. Then you would click PayPal, but this is for Shopify, so we'll leave that alone. Now, if you have a login, if you need to log in, you can go ahead and set that up, or if you already have some uh, logins already readily available in the login pool, you can go ahead and use those as well. Now we're gonna come down here to the various section. You have your human mode. Now without a doubt, you're gonna want that on. Um, I would say for a good healthy task ratio, uh, I'd say about, mm, I don't know, since, since with residential proxies, you can make a whole bunch of proxies. I still go sparingly on the task just because, because you know, I just don't wanna overload the bot or or like dwindle the performance of the bot by any means. So let's say I'm gonna click on human. But before I actually do that though, let's go over here to general. Now, if you want a particular size you wanna go for, you unclick random, put that size in. So let's say, look, for example, like size 8.5, eight and a half. I don't know why the heck I said 8.5, <laughs> but you do that. Boom, you got your eight and a half. Gonna go over here. Now, if you wanna use an exact delay, for example, like 4,500, you can go ahead and do that. With me personally, I love, I absolutely love using the interval because I always set an interval from 3,000 to 5,000. I always do that. That's literally what I always do. And if you want price check on, you can have that on. So just in case you don't accidentally try to get the wrong item or whatever, you know, you're good to go. So for example, you can set it like in between 215 and 220 for the price check only if you want to though. Now I want to come over here to the advanced capture settings. Now, typically I don't really too much mess with this section because I don't use image typers nor anti-capture or to capture. So I always leave that deactivated. Now for payment resubmission though, you can put that bad boy on 99 times. So that way it'll just keep on trying to resubmit the payment. So for example, I don't know what will happen if you don't mess with it. I guess we'll just try to resubmit payment that one time and that's it. So always leave that bad boy on 99 or as high as it can go. Now we're gonna come back over here to human mode. Now you wanna come over here, you wanna save. All right, save again. Okay, save one more time. All right, as you can see, we have made our human mode task. I wanna go to API mode, click save. 
boom, click save, boom, and click save, boom. Now we've made our API task. Now, if you guys want to, only if you necessarily want to, you can come over here and you can actually click on all the tasks that you want and you can actually schedule them if you want to. So if you want to schedule them, like if you're afraid that you're going to be asleep or something during the drop, which I strongly, you know, doubt will happen. But just in case you do, you can schedule your time for when the drop happens and set your task to run like five, six, seven, eight minutes before the drop actually occurs if you want. And in that same breath, you can also set you can also schedule your uh, task to stop, which is also a phenomenal feature because if you're not there, if you're not at home or whatever, and you still schedule it, if you want to set it to stop 10 minutes after the drop, you can do that. You can easily do that. Okay, now that that's done, this is for Shopify. This is for Shopify only. Now we're gonna come, let me see, we're gonna delete all of these. New task. All right, I'm gonna go to new task and then get again. Can I please talk? Now we're gonna go to new task again, and let's go to foot sites. Now we're gonna use a random foot site. Let's say Foot Locker. Now you want to put the SKU in. Uh, I don't know right off the bat, so I'm just gonna put in LOL. Now of course you guys, please make sure to get the SKU from your cook group or just from the website. Do not put in LOL. You're not gonna check out anything <laughs> on foot sites if you put in LOL. You'll put that in, come over here to general. Of course, if you want to get a specific size, turn off random, put that puppy in for the size you want, and boom. Now, <clears throat> for foot sites, I definitely recommend using uh, an interval. For intervals, you know, I always keep it the same way. I don't change anything. 3,000 to 5,000 milliseconds. I always do that. Come over here to your profile. Choose your profile, the proxies you want to use. Now, now for foot sites, definitely you want to use residential and AIO data centers. If if you're if you're fine with other proxies that you use, I guess like residence center or whatever type of proxy you use, they worked on foot sites. Hey, do not fix what's not broken. So, hey, do you if that's the case. Now over here, we're not gonna want to do anything. We're not gonna mess with the advanced session. So you make sure you get everything checked, check, check, check. And if you want price check on again, like before, two fifteen maximum two twenty. Now I want to go back here, we're going to click. Oh, forgot to put in the name. For the name, I'm going to put, oops. So we're going to do save, 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 save. Now you can make as many tasks as you want. And again, like before, if you want to schedule your task, select all the tasks you want to, right click on your mouse, go to schedule start. And in that same breath, when you want to start, I mean, when you want to stop your task, you go ahead and schedule your start. I mean, schedule your stop. Oh my gosh, jeez, freaking Louise. All right, okay, okay. Now we've got foot sites out of the way. Now, oops, didn't mean to do that, LOL. <laughs> All right, so now let's do Yeezy Supply. We're gonna do Yeezy Supply now. All right, so you wanna come over here to Tools, the Tools section. You wanna go to the Splash Breaker. You'll put the link in. So I don't think there's a link available on Yeezy Supply yet. Fun fact, I am IP banned on this server for user supply. So I don't know if this is gonna work. I may have to just get the link from, I may just literally have to get, yeah, I'm still, yeah, hold on a second, guys. Yeah, still banned on uh, here. So once you got the link, you wanna just put that puppy in, put in your proxy, or if you wanna use a, this is just for using a specific proxy, or if you wanna use anything for your proxy list, wanna put that puppy in, then you just click add browser. Then you wanna add another browser. Then another browser, then another browser, then another browser, then another browser, and another browser. And you just do it like that. Or if you want to just add multiple browsers at once, click on browsers, say three browsers, voila, you just do it like that as well. Now, unfortunately, I am IP banned, so nothing's gonna pop up on my screen. But of course, you can always just come over here and, and enlarge the image or enlarge the splash breaker when you want to, and just exit it out at the same time if you want with this button right here. And that's when going for, for example, a site like, and you can even do this with Adidas if you want to. But I know more people mainly do it on Yeezy Supply, so that's why I'm just mentioning Yeezy Supply. But yeah, you guys, you know, simple as that. You know, um, if you necessarily need to uh, gather harness cookies, you come over here and you start garnering cookies. Now I know a lot of the time, I know for right now, majority of uh, US-based foot sites, you don't really need to gather cookies. They do it some other way. So if you're, you know, of course, located in a different region, do not forget to gather cookies and do not use old cookies. Always remember to start garnering cookies two days before the drop. That's at most two days before the drop.
But yeah, you guys, uh, that pretty much wraps up this task set up. Was it too long? Was it too short? Was it good enough? What do you want me to change, take out, add? This is my first time doing this in a hot little minute, so it may be a little rough. We'll just have to, you know, hey, we're gonna get through this together. I'm gonna continue to improve as things go by. But yeah, you guys, um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you're having a good night, day, evening. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.